But we begin with the investigation into a crash that killed a little boy. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Natasha Brown. In for Jessica tonight. After the impact, police say the driver of the striking car got out, saw the aftermath, and then fled the scene. Now, this all happened at Herkness Street and Whitaker Avenue in the Crescentville neighborhood. Alexandria Hoff is at Temple University Hospital tonight, where a man injured in the crash is currently being treated. Alex. Yeah, Natasha, the driver of the car that was hit was taken here to Temple University Hospital, and we are told he is expected to be okay. But sadly, the eight year old boy who was riding with him did not survive that crash. And tonight, witnesses are wondering how another driver could have just hit them and then leave. This viewer's cell phone video shows the devastating aftermath of a crash that took the life of an eight year old boy. According to police, the boy was riding in this tan Honda along with a 28 year old driver. It was around 1.40 p.m. when the vehicle was attempting to make a left turn off of Whitaker Avenue near Herkness Street. It was struck in its passenger side at a high rate of speed by a second vehicle. Seeing a poor eight year old in a car die like this and the men took off, that is horrible. Police say that the 34 year old driver of that second vehicle stopped to check for damage to his car and then fled the scene after striking another gray vehicle. Owner of the car, they already left. According to investigators, the offender abandoned the vehicle before heading to the hospital himself. He was located in the second district while his vehicle was located by police near Frontenac and Venango. In a tree above this most recent fatal crash, a ribbon commemorates another family's loss. Well, there was the same accident right there in the same spot with a truck and a BMW. With speeding cars an ever-present threat in this area of Whitaker Avenue, other families tell us they are considering moving. We've been here for a long time, yeah. so it's about time for us to leave. Witnesses say that the offending vehicle was speeding and swerving before the crash, and police say that that driver told them that he was suffering from a, quote, diabetic episode. We are told that charges against him are pending. Reporting live tonight, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.